dear and local city council member, Daniel Trump. Um, before we all give him a round of applause, which he deserves a huge one, I also want to highlight um, that he was a total champion in winning the recent um, municipal ID legislation. So that now all the I want to say that in English, this is probably one of the most powerful marches in New York City because it's a community <coughs> march. And when people see us marching in our own communities as LGBT people, they learn that we are their family, their friends, and their neighbors. And there's nothing more powerful than that. We could go on and we could march in Manhattan for a hundred years. And everybody would expect people to be marching on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan like we did a week or so ago uh, for the Gay Pride Parade. But when we bring this home to our communities and we get people to see and to understand that we are their family, friends, and neighbors, there's nothing more powerful than that. So I want to say thank you. Thank you to the trans people who are here, to the trans community in general. I want to say thank you to Bianne for, for all the work that she does for our community. You are amazing. You are a fantastic organizer. We just honored her about three weeks ago at, city, at the city council. And I want to say thank you to Make the Road also. Because I have learned so much about community organizing from Make the Road. And I have gotten so much support in our efforts to protect our immigrant communities and our LGBT communities. And I totally love, totally love the way that Make the Road just includes LGBT people in everything that they do. There's not a discussion that goes on in Make the Road New York where we are not included. And that is a huge thing for all of us in the LGBT community. So thank you to everybody. We're going to march and we're going to be powerful today. We are going to empower ourselves. Si se puede. Si se puede. So we thank Daniel Drum, thank you so much for sharing um, and coming here and watching with us. And now we're going to share the story of one of our members, Jocelyn Mendoza. 